This might just be my favorite ROM out there. And trust me, I've tested a lot. But this one, this one's got that special sauce. The kind of love and detail that only a true enthusiast would appreciate. It's like when you find a coffee shop that doesn't just serve coffee, but crafts it. That's this ROM. It's called CR Droid, and I'm calling it the most insanely customizable ROM I've ever seen. Argue with me if you want, but hey, this is my cup of tea, and I'm about to show you why, plus how to get it on your device. The moment you start using it, you feel it. The little things. You can tweak fonts. Want nothing's font? Done. Want FIFA's? Sure, why not? The level of customization is just ridiculous. The top header of your settings menu feels boring? Why not slap an image on it? Nature, Avengers, your dog, your own face, go nuts. And the quick tiles, you want them rounded, squared, text under the icons, looking like they belong in a cyberpunk movie. It's all here. And as a Batman fan, the first thing I did, Batman logo next to my custom circular battery icon, because I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am annoyed at Samsung for cutting off software updates for this device. But look, I know what you're thinking. Cool customization, but is it stable? Yes. Well, mostly. Occasional hiccups, a minor glitch here and there, but every time I faced one, locking and unlocking the phone fixed it. And it's got all the Android 15 goodies. Private space for uh, things you'd rather keep private. We don't judge. For me, this alone makes Android 15 way better than every past update. Yes, Samsung had something similar before, but now it's just easier. Partial screen sharing, app archiving, theft detection lock, predictive back gestures, and my favorite, circle to search, absolute game changer. If you're a nerd like me, you'll also love the absurd amount of status bar tweaks, clock styles, battery icons, gesture settings, you name it. And look at this beautiful dog. Just slide from the bottom chin and it appears from where you can perform a few more actions. It's like being a UX designer without needing to write a single line of code. Which is great because my programming skills? Absolute trash. And updates? Yep, regular patches. In fact, I got an update while recording this video. And if you're into serious multitasking, app pairs are here. You can launch two apps together instantly, without which, honestly, you may feel kinda useless. So, lock screen, navigation, gestures, animations, customization stacked on customization. If I explained everything, we'd be here for an hour. So go explore, break things responsibly, and drop your setup in the comments. And hey, subscribe now. Do it for future you. Because one day, when I'm YouTube famous, probably in the year 3025, you will brag to your friends, I was here before the hype. So be a legend and subscribe now. Well, this feels way snappier than Samsung's One UI had, and Geekbench numbers actually back that up. Solid boost in performance, as you can see that for yourself. Battery life, about the same. Gaming, no weird frame drops, just smooth sailing. Face unlock and fingerprint, yep, they work. But let's be real here. There are a few quirks. If you rely on Samsung exclusive apps, Samsung Notes, Dex, or their fancy camera processing, this ROM doesn't have them. No continuous zoom in the camera either. And the S Pen? It's usable, but no palm rejection or Bluetooth features. Just like S25 Ultra's S Pen. Feeling good about that? Yeah. And if you're on a Snapdragon model? Yeah, this one's Exynos only. Sucks, I know. Banking apps? Some work, some don't. Alright, let's get you set up. First things first. Update your OS to the latest version. Back up everything. You will lose your data. Charge your phone to at least 30%. Don't test your luck. Now enable developer mode. Go to about phone and tap build number seven times. This will unlock developer options. Go back to settings, find developer options, and turn on USB debugging and OEM unlocking. If OEM unlocking isn't showing, connect to Wi-Fi and check for updates, and then try again. Next, grab your laptop and a USB cable. We're going to unlock the bootloader. With the phone turned off, hold both volume buttons and plug in the USB cable. This will bring up the bootloader screen. To unlock the bootloader, press volume up and follow the on-screen instructions. 
Since my bootloader is already unlocked, I won't be doing this step. But if yours isn't unlocked, just press volume up once. After unlocking, immediately hold volume up and volume down to prevent the phone from automatically rebooting into the system. Now press volume up again. Great, you are now in download mode. Now you'll need a few files, links are in the description. Download the CR Droid ROM file, the CR Droid recovery image file, Samsung Odin, Samsung USB drivers, SDK platform tools, and TWRP for your device. First, extract the SDK platform tools and install the Samsung USB drivers. Then, go to your downloads folder and rename the ROM file to crdroid.zip to keep things organized. After that, move it to the platform tools folder. Now, open Odin. You should see a blue COM port. If not, reinstall the USB drivers. In Odin, go to options and disable auto restart. Click AP, select the TWRP recovery file and hit start. In just a few seconds, the process is done. Now, boot into this recovery by holding power, volume up and volume down together. When the phone turns off, release volume down but keep holding the rest. As soon as the Samsung logo appears, release power but continue holding volume up until you enter TWRP. And that's it. Welcome to TWRP. In TWRP, go to wipe, then select format data, type YES and swipe to confirm. Once done, reboot into recovery again. Now transfer the CR Droid recovery image to your phone. In TWRP, go to install, select the IMG file and flash it as recovery. Then go back and reboot into recovery. This time you'll boot into the CR Droid recovery and this is where we begin the next steps. Now it's time to install the ROM. Tap apply update then select apply from ADB. On your laptop open a command window in the platform tools folder and type ADB sideload crdroid.zip and press enter. Wait a few minutes for the process to complete. Once done, reboot to system and there you have it. You are now running CR Droid on Android 15. Fully customized, fully yours. Now go crazy with the settings and let me know in the comments how it's running for you. Bugs? Glitches? Let's help each other out. And hey, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. And now I will see you in the comments.